Sunday morning. We had chocolate pudding for breakfast. The stove was shit. But it's alright. Steve didn't sleep very well last night. Because of my snoring. See you on the trails. I think I said before when we were in Spain and we did the Spain trip. Um, you've got to give so much respect to Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman. Because you know, what we're doing here on these little 450s going through all this gravel they did on BMW 1150 GSs and that is fucking unreal you know, to do that on those bikes if you drop one, if it's to land on you I mean this hurts enough if it lands on you but to have one of those land on you fucking hell and then to have to pick it up when you're in the middle of like, a really stressful situation they're you know, thinking about picking a fucking don't know, I mean, it's, it's got to be heavier than my, my road bike. And then to, you know, control it over these, you know, these bumps and... Oh, I just, they got my utmost respect. I hear people say about them, you know, oh, they had a support crew and they had this and that. Fuck that! I mean, I think if you ask any dirt bike rider what those guys did, it was unreal. It's unreal. And also I know lots of other people have done it. I'm not saying they're not the only ones. Those are people who have done it. Fucking Nick Sanders went around the world on an R1 for fuck's sake. <laughs> Going down roads like this. And across desert. On a fucking R1 motorcycle. Obviously it's tuned set up really differently and and the fucked about with the you know, different tyres and stuff like that. But still, could you do it? Could you ride an R1 on a motorbike down here? I bet you'll say you could. But I fucking challenge you to have a go. I would love to see it. I would actually love to see a YouTube commenter. Which I'm not having a go at you. I'm not having a go at you because I do it myself. I see what um I see what other people have um doing on uh, I come in one I looked at one of Sven's videos the other day, a mud video he'd done. And um I was thinking, oh fuck me, he could be a, got through that mud easy. What's that? <sighs> Steve's stuff again. Great. Pick his crocs up. See this. Fucking... These... This is Steve's Crocs and his biver bag, biver whack, biver bag, what do you call it? And because I'm lost, I'll pick him up for him. Getting turd. It's the bungees. And fucking bungees will come loose. He'll come fucking. Hello? Hello? It'll come flying off again. It's a problem. Never a bad one. Right, can I get shoes on there maybe? Yeah. Do that. One, two. They're up there waiting for me. Well, this weekend is for in this fucking bike. Oh, wrong way.
That's right, they're not in your wheel, are they? No. No. My bike's not going to trust oh, me. Look. It must be really hot. Not one. I got in the back there, take your There you go, got his shoes.